Hello everyone and welcome to MDLR Fishing. My name is Mark and today I want to talk to y'all about the clothing that I wear whenever it gets cold outside. Let's start things out with what I wear for the November, December time frame. That's whenever Texas starts getting those rolling cold fronts and uh, that's when you need to layer up. What I use is uh, a lot of Columbia gear. This right here are their thermals and it's got like a foil technology. Uh, I don't know what that technology is called, maybe heat something or thermotech or something of that nature, but this right here is very thin, man-made material, so it helps to wick away moisture if you're sweating from your body, and uh, it, it's, it's faster drying. I'm not going to say it's quick dry, it's not like dry fit, but it's faster drying than the alternative, which is cotton, and everybody knows that cotton will weigh you down if it gets wet and it does not dry for a long time. So I got a nice little base layer right there. Um, that will go underneath my regular fishing pants and it's plenty warm for one of our cold fronts. Now for uh, to, to warm my face up, I got a nice gator from Sims. Uh, it's got these little breathable holes. It doesn't quite keep the like your lenses if you're wearing polarized uh, sunglasses. It doesn't keep them from fogging up, so just know that. Uh, it can happen every now and again. Just depends on what kind of sunglasses you have, but that will break the wind and add just like a, a protective layer to your face and your ears. Uh, for my hands, uh, I've tried every bit of gloves that are out there, and, and like honestly, I went through a lot of gloves. They all get wet, and they're not gonna keep your hands dry, and if they are designed to keep your hands dry, well, just know you'll lose a lot of dexterity in your digits. So I just go with simple fishing gloves. These have got goat leather and uh, it's all in the right spots so that if your hands do get wet, it, fishing line, I use braid a lot. It's not going to slice through and, and cut you. Um, they act kind of like a, a wet, uh, what do we call a wetsuit? Uh, if the gloves do get wet, which they are, um, your hand, the body heat, warms the glove up. That you know, that layer of water and everything, it just stays warm, protects you from the wind, uh, a little bit from the elements, but not so much. Your hands will still get numb out there. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to put on is a nice, this is a really nice uh, pair of pants right here. Uh, it's made by Columbia. It also sports the foil technology um, that reflects your body heat back to you. Uh, I do wear it in conjunction with my uh, base layer, those thermals. Uh, these guys, they are like really well designed for the outdoors. Uh, it's not like a pair of fishing pants where it's a, a dry fit and it's gonna dry really fast, but um, it's better again than the alternative, which is cotton, your blue jeans, so on and so forth. Uh, the, the pockets are strategically placed uh, throughout and it's got zippers to keep everything where it belongs. There's no pockets back here. I don't need them back there because I'm kayak fishing. I, I never wear or put anything in my back pockets. Instead, my wallet goes up here on a thigh pocket placed in the perfect spot. You've also got zippers down here for if you're going to wear boots like fishing boots or anything like that. Um, you can zip them up and it'll allow for the big boot to go on. You look at this right here. This is to keep your pant leg down on your pant. That little hook goes on to your shoelaces and whenever you're pedaling like the way I am on my kayak, if the wind was blowing, it's not going to blow the pant leg up and then a gust of wind get under there and try to get you cold. So that's a nice thing to have. These are god awful expensive, but I will link them in the, the description down below, which by the way are, those links are Amazon affiliate uh, links. And if you purchase something utilizing one of those, the channel earns a commission. So just have to throw that disclaimer out there. But for every one of you wondering what kind of pants these are, how much they are, I'm not even gonna say it. Uh, just go onto that link and take a look at it. Um, I Let me say this, uh, because when you see how much these things are, or some of the gear behind me, how much they are, 
uh, you'll poop your pants. But if you're an electrician, if you're a welder, it whatever job you have, you have tools for that job that help you get it done. I'm a fisherman. These are my tools along with like the fishing rods and reels that I use. And uh, I need technical gear so that I can spend a full day out there on the water. So I just got to get that out the way. But uh, here's the pants that I wear. The tops that I wear are also Columbia. Sport that same technology to reflect the body heat back onto your body instead of losing it lightweight and uh, very comfortable you lose no dexterity so all these light layers that's the beauty you can wear super light garments and be out there and comfy um, for your feet i can't stress like for me i'm the type of person that if my feet get cold i'm done i have to throw in the white towel uh, there's no trying to warm them back up. I'm gonna have to go back indoors and just tend to those guys Right here waterproof socks that go all the way up to your calf. So almost knee-length socks uh, When the cold fronts hit I'm able to just get away with this and regular fishing pants Because when you're launching a kayak you got to get your feet wet more often than not you have to get your feet wet and these guys will allow me to do that. I can get out of the kayak and recover it, launch it, whatever the case may be. Uh, my feet are gonna stay dry. They're fairly thick and uh, they're awesome. $35 uh, on Amazon, uh, linked in the description down below. I have tried wet socks, but what I don't like about those is they press on your feet so freaking tight. And then also when you pull them off after five to eight hours on the water, your feet are just pruned up and it's just disgusting. Uh, these guys work a whole lot better. Uh, I also have used the seal skin socks, which are made from merino wool. But uh, yeah, they only lasted not even one full season before they ripped at the seam and uh, my left sock was always getting my foot wet because of that whole uh, these guys a lot cheaper and they just they really work. This is my second season using them uh, Now we're gonna move on into The late December the month of January all of February when it gets really cold Sorry about that when it gets really cold uh, I'm going with my waders. These are freestone waders from Sims they have a nice pocket right up here that's zippered. And then you also got a, a kangaroo pouch um, that's kind of like felt fleece lined, something like that. Uh, these guys are really well worth the money. You're gonna cry whenever you have to purchase this thing, but well worth the money in my opinion. Um, and very durable as well. So. That's what I've got uh, down here at the foot. This is a very thick neoprene sock. So uh, instead of wearing these Randy Sun uh, waterproof socks, I'm actually gonna just put on a dress sock to fit that because if I tried to put that thick sock plus this thick neoprene booty into my boot, it's not going to work. My toes are going to be cramped and uh, they're going to be crying later on at the end of the day. So that's how I do that. This right here is whenever it is just like the dog days of winter, super cold. I just go with a dry suit. This is made by Coca Tat. It's got a like a zipper that goes across the body. You can see right here. Uh, here, let's zip it up. This is a heavy duty zipper. But yeah, it looks like a Michael Jackson spacesuit, kind of. And uh, you got a zipper right here along your chest to put something there. Uh, it's got a latex gasket around your neck to keep you airtight. And if you're allergic to latex, they also make it with neoprene. Uh, my particular suit is made of Gore-Tex and it's got both of these uh, gaskets that I just spoke about. Also right here at the wrist, you've got neoprene and uh, latex. And you also have 
a relief valve right here in the event that you've got to go number one well you got this right there to be able to do that down here i'm wearing my thick socks uh, maybe not these waterproof ones but maybe like a, a pair of wool socks because this is just a gore-tex booty very thin and it's not thick at all so your feet will freeze if you don't wear a nice pair of warm socks but rest assured this dry suit is going to keep you completely dry even if you were to have an unfortunate uh, accident and go into the water um, even after you come out no need to change put on a dry warm clothing or anything because everything underneath is dry so uh, very expensive suit but for those of you up in the north uh, you know about Kokatat uh, also the northwest northeast the north um, yeah a great piece of gear to have now the the footwear that I'm using for the waders and the dry suit right here, a nice pair of wading boots. These are super, super light, very comfortable. I've just, this is my second pair because I have one that I wear out there at the jetties and uh, they work so well that I decided to get another pair. Uh, definitely worth their weight in gold. Uh, a great boot um, is it's just a great boot. Uh, I've got nothing bad to say about it. Get whatever you can afford. No need to go the high dollar route. Again, these are the tools that I like to use because it's what I do. And one more thing. Whenever it's raining and I don't have the dry suit on, whenever I've got the waders or just regular fishing pants with the thermals and my jacket this will go on top if there's any sl like sleet uh, light rain heavy fog the stuff that lets water accumulate I can't even say that word accumulate onto your clothing this rain jacket will keep you dry and then with the other layers you're going to be warm and toasty underneath and that is pretty much it that's what i'm out there uh, using and Trust me when I say this stuff works. Uh, I'm not trying to sell y'all anything. This is just to give you an idea of like what it takes to stay out there on the water. Now you can wear stuff of like made of cotton and stuff and things of that nature, but I don't recommend it because it's not if you go into the water, it's when you go in. And when that happens and you get waterlogged, uh, if you don't have a change of clothing, then uh, it's just going to be a bad time. Uh, these items right here allow me to have full motion. Uh, I did test out the dry suit this season. It was, uh, what was it, early November, I want to say. And uh, it was pretty bad. <laughs> uh, it was 50 degree water. I went in and I was freezing. I didn't have my thermals underneath. I just had regular fishing pants and a fishing shirt. But it was cold enough to the point where I was very uncomfortable. My, you know, where you have that teeth chattering coldness. Uh, that was me. And I'm wearing something that keeps me dry. So even though I was dry, I was very cold. Uh, what I'm trying to get at is 50 degree water. It, it seems kind of warm, but if you stay in it long enough, uh, bad things are going to happen. So I highly recommend you uh, take a little bit of interest in protecting yourself when you go out there on the water. Because if you don't, well, you're going to be a statistic on the news and um, yeah, wearing stuff of this nature back here it just means that you have a, a better possibility of coming back home. Um, going with like the whole movement, uh, like your body is not restricted with like, so going with the whole restriction of body movement, these thin layers allow me to do everything that I need to do whenever I try to get back onto the kayak with the light vest on and some of this gear um, it's hard. It is really hard. So if you're layering up with gear that is super thick, then, 
just know that it's going to be very tough. So like the, the way you practice is the way you're going to play. I definitely recommend going out, trying it at least once in a controlled environment, have somebody on standby, see if you can get back into your kayak. It's a lot tougher than you think. I've already went through it. I already know, and I'm not trying to sugarcoat anything. Uh, I will still have trouble getting back into the kayak with this gear and a life jacket on. All right, I know that was a very long-winded video, but uh, a lot of y'all have asked me, what are you using? This is it right here. And next season, I probably won't even have some of this stuff because bigger and better things are gonna come out. So uh, this is what I'm using right now. I definitely wanna uh, thank each and every one of y'all for sticking through the video. I really appreciate the love and support that y'all show me. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you wanna see fishing throughout the winter, click that subscribe button down there. Also ring the notification bell icon so that YouTube will let you know when I publish new videos. And until next time, tight lines, y'all.